Okay, we're live, we're going to Streamlabs. I'm gonna make a quick post in the Facebook groups and we'll get started with a booster box opening. Doki, here we go, boys. Packs are being opened. It's happening. Two boxes right in front of your eyes. Power Mouse, how's it going? Mark, uh, you're in a uni lecture. <laughs> Max Pot, how's it going? Aliast, how's it going? Right, let me just. Uh, how many people are in here? Seven of us. I'll wait for a few more people to get in. I'll also post in Verbank real quick. Okie dokie. And I wonder if Jack's going to come in here. <laughs> Jack's just met, he just commented so you can't watch <laughs> rip <laughs> pay respects to Jack guys <laughs> heavy tortoise how's it going James B as well welcome we will be hopping into these boxes in a moment let's just get a few more people in here and we'll get going man there's been so many there's been a huge ruckus today about uh the London hitting its limit uh, so hopefully out of doom and gloom can come some good pulls now good question max pot what am i what am i after more than anything else i would say sil valley would be my favorite pull and uh maybe the odd boswell would be good as well you can get boswell from well you can get both boswell and sil valley from uh well you can get boswell from the box and i think there's a sil valley box as well so I don't really need to get high counts of everything. I'd also just like to get some cool gold stuff and maybe some full art supporters and stuff. That would also be cool. I think the full art Gladian has incredible artwork, so that would be a cool one. The full art Gyarados is actually something I quite like. I would hate to get half art Gyarados, but the full art one's quite cool. Believe in the heart of the cards. That's the plan. That is the plan. We'll be starting very soon, guys. Not long to wait. I'm just hoping to get a few more people in here so everyone can get involved. Zunal, how's it going, my guy? Doomsday, you're not wrong. That's going to be hard to uh, hard to get great pulls in here. But uh, I think, uh, what are we doing? We're at 28 people. Let's say at 30, we'll start cracking open. 29, oh boy. Break XY, I'm really enjoying all the rage from people who haven't got their London tickets. I mean, there's some close friends of mine who can't make it, which is quite bad. Um, but it just baffles me, like, why would you not register? <laughs> when when it's open to be registered, why wouldn't you just go and do it, you know? It's really bizarre. But, uh, yeah, some people just sort of put it to the back of their minds. There's even people who have booked, like, flights before actually booking... Uh, for the tournament which just makes no sense at all but yeah I mean it sucks for them right but it's also a great sign for London it's gonna be like so big when we get there so uh, it's gonna be a really different experience from uh, from last year open two Zorak GX boxes earlier Put the third Zorak you needed amazing any luck for Luke nothing yet J Bat Pokemon, how's it going? Guess you'll be playing in London. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> even Mark registers. That's a baseline. Yeah, Benji, you did tell him to register a bunch. Yoshi, thanks so much for hosting. That is awesome. 
hot chocolate, chocolate fingers, and an Omnipoke stream. That's incredible. Right, and Complexity is hosting us as well, so I guess we should probably get this show on the road and uh, start opening some packs. That's why we're here. Let's uh, put this one to the side and make some space for this bad boy. Yeah, also Rick. It's so weird that, uh, like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, when a tournament comes up, that would, as soon as you're able to register, like, even if you can't do it immediately when the posts are made and whatever, but you do it that day or that evening most of the time. And especially because Luke himself, he's had close calls before. He's been the last person to get to a regional before. I think it was for Bremen. He was the last person before it filled up. So he's had close calls and still he uh, decides to risk it all. So in an unknown meta for League Cup, is Guardian Sylvie, uh, Guardi Sylveon the best play? I'd still say so, yeah. Especially if it's still pre-Crimson Invasion. Uh, you can get away with not playing Mr. Mime pre-Crimson Invasion, so you can just play like a really safe, good list. One of each Buzzwall in one box. That's pretty awesome. PTGO won't up, uh, load after the updates. Oh, I've not tried to log in today. Uh, I think the plan for me today is going to be um, open these packs, then I'll go off stream, put in the codes, uh, then I'll go back on stream, open the codes on stream, and uh, hopefully do some trades and get some games in. So let's get going. For Alolan Golem Fuller, Olivia hype. Is Olivia even in this set? If it is, I'll be upset. All right, let's get going. Let's get the code out of the way. I think I've got two boxes. First box will go through commons on commons the lot, and then uh, in the second box we will just uh, rattle through all the goodies. So let's get to it, people. Hopefully we can all see. We've got a pump kaboo. It doesn't say night march, so who cares? Swablu, Carablast, Skiddo, Trimeco. This is just a common. Wow, just a common. There's been some chatter about this card. I don't think it's great. We've got a reverse Gengar. Uh, this is a pretty interesting card. Um, we can get some damage on the board. I'm going to be sleeving stuff as always, because as you know, I'm a collector. And uh, boom, we have a, a Loan Raichu, which is actually a hollow. And uh, it's a really bad card. Hopefully the camera will actually fix itself. It's actually better when I put it further away. But yeah, I'll be sleeving revs and hollows, and uh, there we go. Collector mark, yeah man. That is me, that is me. Let's get hollows there. We got some uh, more basic energy there in every pack these days. Uh, Hakamo, uh, Dashing Pouch, Haunter with the old pain amplifier. Oh yes, get that in the bag straight away. Like 11 more hollows to get. Hopefully, hopefully it's 12 or 13. If you get a secret, sometimes it's 13. Uh, so yeah, let me just, uh, I'm missing out on all the follows. So I need to uh, quickly add a browser source of the alert box. And hopefully that will be working. Who have I just missed? Stephen Kent is now following. Thanks so much, Stephen. And Moona Lover as well has now just followed. Awesome, guys. Thanks so much for the recent follows. Sorry, your names didn't come up. Uh, but I've just added. I've hopefully just added it now. So, let's go. Chimeco, Numal, Starly, Skiddo, Pikachu. What a boss Pikachu that is. A reverse Staryu. And a uh, rare Starmie. Sure. Really... Like, there aren't actually that many catch cards in this set. I know it's been said a million times. Jarrett Kirpan is now following. Thanks so much, Jarrett. Welcome to the team. Um, I know it's been said a lot of times that there's not much depth to this set, so we should be able to rush through Pats fairly quickly. But uh, I just can't resist the feel of opening boosters. Okie doke. Pumpkaboo, Star You, Dino, Aaron, 
Man, I've got really bad glare going on. Gasly, reverse Chimeco. Uh, we got a Reggie Rock. Fortunately, he's just a rare. This is actually a, one of the pre-release cards. Uh, we got Metal Energy, Fighting Memory from Sil Valley. Pretty cool card to pick up. Counter Catcher. This was actually rated very highly in the Charizard Lounge set review, which I happened to read today. It was released today. Uh, he had some interesting stuff to review, but uh, yeah. Ash Skills now following. Thanks so much. Yeah, I should uh, get the items out of the way in a separate pile. Uh, should I do the same for energy? I probably should. Uh, I'll have to go through all this anyway and get out all the goodies anyway later on. So may as well get it done now. Don bro, how's it going? So we have Shellos, Corfish, Mincino, Magikarp. This is a new good Magikarp for expanded. Execute. We have a Rev Magikarp. Oh yes, the value. And we have another card that was rated highly on the uh, Charizard Lounge. Uh, Review the Gorgeist Rare that has the Pumpkin Bomb attack. Uh, I think it's absolute hot garbage, but there you go. Chomeco Gladian, this is another controversial card. And my personal favorite card of the set, the Counter Energy. This is my favorite card of the set, just for creativity and giving me a puzzle to solve in deck building. First of all, figuring out if it's good. Second of all, figuring out how many cards, how techy do you want to go with your deck and how situational this is. Uh, I think this is a really awesome card that will continue to change how building is made. So even though this probably isn't the strongest card, I think in a design perspective and also giving me a challenge in how to build, I think this is the coolest card of the set. I think Sylvalli is probably uh, my favorite Pokemon of the set, but the counter energy I think is very cool. Highly rated for the binder. We didn't even review uh, Gorgeist in our set review because I oh my god I just dropped a pack because uh, I rated it below a one star basically if it's not a one star card it's not worth our time normally we put one star cards in our review if they have anything of note and I generally thought this Gorgeist had nothing of note so it wasn't even worth putting in our review so yeah okay Catnia Funnel Beast Shellos Weedle Execute Reverse Pump Kaboo. And oh my goodness, it's a golden card, and I dropped it on myself, so hopefully the condition is still fine. But it's a troll one, it's a wishful baton. Any Groudon players out there right now wanting this? My goodness. It's gold. It's gold after all. Uh, sure. We'll take it. We'll take it. It's well centered, and there's actually not any edge wear, I don't think. Yeah, it looks like a good condition card, if nothing else. I can grade this, so that's fine. I should probably... Uh, we'll have all the hollows out on the top, top bins. Uh, then we have Water Energy, Pilo Swine, Peeping, or Peking Red card, I should say, and the Mill Tank. That's also a card that a few people are interested in. It will probably have application somewhere because Healing 90 is good. It's just currently quite a situational card, and there's already a bunch of ability lock already, so. Uh, and funnily enough, um, to sort of protect yourself from spread damage, it would be otherwise considered, but because it's weak to fighting, it's not actually very good at helping out against Boswell, because it's just free prizes for them anyway, even if you're negating it on other stuff. Okay, Staryu, Aaron, Remoraid, uh, Low and Geodude, Dino. Got the reverse Starmie, that's a rare. And uh, we have an X Cavalier. I honestly forgot this was in the set, and I honestly forgot that this was a Pokemon. Uh, this really hasn't been treated nicely in the TCG. It really doesn't have any good cards. A Lone Graveler, a Molga, and Laron. There you have it. You can't polish a Wish Baton, but you can plate it in gold. Oh, yes. Energy card, Mark's excited. We got the best energy, got the dark energy. P 
teasing us with Omni Chair. Here it is. <laughs> the Omni Chair in the view is the best view of the house. Mankey. My goodness. What a lad. Salandit. Spoink. Carablast. Bunnelby. Got a reverse camera, which is a rare. And uh, we have a hollow salazzle. The harem. They're all there. Coming up with a nasty plot. Doing all that good stuff. Again, this is a card that we chose not to review because it really shouldn't have anything of note, but it can search your deck for any two cards, which is all right, I guess, to like set itself up to be a consistent deck. It will just consistently let you down because it can't do any damage. <laughs> so you will get that you will get your ideal setup. It's just your ideal setup doesn't beat anything. Another fighting memory and a low and graveler. Omni desk today. TCG Masters for London is full, yeah. There's a, a bit of outcry on the old Facebook groups at the moment uh, because people aren't able to register anymore. And uh, they all had their chance. So, you know, I don't feel too bad for them, even though a lot of them are my close friends. <laughs> Some of the people complaining. Uh, we have a Swablu. And uh, we have a Wigglytuff. But especially this season, because it's so easy to get your world invite that it really shouldn't matter. It's our first Lucimine. Uh, it really should, shouldn't matter if you can't go to London because you, your invite is so free already. Like, that it really shouldn't affect you that you can't attend London. So, um, it's more so a bad thing for top 22 contenders. That's where I really do feel bad. But otherwise, if you're a good enough player, it shouldn't affect your season at all. So, yeah. Ooh, good code, guys. Good code. Let's see what we can get. Are there actually any good uh, regular rares? I don't even know if there are. Ghastly, Corfish, Aaron, uh, Mankey, Swinub with the three retreat cost. Remember that, boys. Uh, the Starly Reverse. And we have... Oh, this is really... This is really a hollow? My goodness. Reg Ice. I mean, that hollow is actually pretty cool. The icy effect. But this is also a really bad card. Preventing damage from evolutions, but everyone plays Tapu Lele. So. Well, not even evolutions, it's just stage twos. That's way worse. Like, this would be a bad card if it stopped all evolutions, but it only does stage twos. That, that is so terrible. <laughs> so terrible. Lightning Energy, Grumpig, Cincino, and Zwilus. There's a decent Kakuna common. That's true, if ever we get a good Beedrill. That's true enough. Okay. We have Corfish, Mincino, another Magikarp, an Execute, Cubone, Reverse Weedle. And a camera up. So we've already seen this guy in reverse. We have a rainbow, grum pig, more wild hype, and another counter energy. So I already have three counter energy. How big is this set? One, one, one. Uh, so yeah, trying to get a place out of this was like one of my big, big things I wanted from one box, and uh, looks like we're very much on the way to do that. So, uh, mini goal being achieved. I mean, over two boxes it will always happen, but typically I like to uh, give my extras to like Jack and Tamao and Luke and whatnot, so yeah. Pikachu, Houndour, Jigglypuff, Swinub, Swablu, Reverse Registeel, this is a really nice card. If this is a regular rare, this might be the best regular rare in the set. So getting that in reverse is very good. And uh, we also get the Xerneas, my dude. That's also got great artwork. If there's one thing I do like about the set, it's the artwork. I'd really like to pull a Alolan Marowak in Hollow because I think that's like an insanely good card in uh, in terms of looks. You have like 17 Gladion. Yeah, it's a shame this is only it ain't too great, but uh, looks very good. Artwork. I mean, there's not much else I can talk about for this set, right? There's the Kakuna. Oh boy. Sprout. Oh no, it's not even called Sprout. That's what it was translated to in Japanese, but it's actually just called Multiply. Boring. 
It would be better if it was called Sprout, you know? It makes sense. Sophie08089 is now following. Thanks so much. New Zonius, new Joe. <laughs> okay, we have Chimeco, we have uh, Mistrevis, Stuffle, Feebas, Jagmao, we have a reverse swine of the hype. And uh, oh, Deadly Beats hosting, what a guy. Cheers, Deadly. And we have a Miss Magius. This is a pretty interesting uh, rare card, actually. I think this is one of the rare cases where I think it may have a bigger impact in Expanded than it does in Standard. Because there will be a handful of just DC only variants in Expanded, and that's not really the case for Standard. Uh, I don't know why I'm just leaving it. There's no need for that. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, potentially an interesting card just because. Uh, oh, there's our playset. Because, yeah, there's mono DC decks, and although some are playing Ranger, some aren't. Like, not every Zoroark and not every Night March is playing Ranger. And Ms. Magius ba being able to just Chaos Wheel a bunch is pretty cool. What do I think of the new Cincino? I think it's absolute hot garbage. I think it's one of those fun cards that you could have fun with in a pre release. It's probably not even good in a pre-release. Like, that's how bad the card is. Giving your opponent a decision to dictate the pace of the game is really, really bad. Um, yeah. Reverse Excavalier. And a Staraptor. Staraptor's starting to be shafted lately. It's pretty sad because this is one of my favorite uh, Pokemon. Staraptor. Definitely one of my favorite flying types. There's our second Gladian. There's been some cool Star Raptors in the past, like Star Raptor uh, FB level X. Uh, but overall, in terms of cards, it's been shafted quite a lot. Okay. Aaron, Remoraid, Alone Geodude, Dino, Shellos, Reverse Chimeco, I think that's actually our second one, that's weird. And uh, we have a Cacturn. Oh, baby. Got some Grass Energy. Diggersby, though. We got Counter Catcher. And we have a Starly as well. Not bad. Not even good at a pre release. Yeah, that's my honest opinion about uh, the new Cincino. <laughs> okay. Had a string of rares. Only one good catch card so far. Looking at early pull rates from other people, it looks like there's like four or five GXs you get per box. So yeah, we've got the Rev Pump Kaboo. We've already had that one in Rev before as well. Have the Primate Rare, Grass Energy, Staravia, Grumpig, and Mawile. Let's carry on with it. Ooh, good code. The hype. Let's go. Hold on to your Riolus for that Lucario GX. Lucario is another one of my favorite uh, Pokemon. So I really hope he gets a good card. The EX was an interesting card. So have the reverse Grumpig and it's just another Hollow. It's going to be the Gengar. So this is actually my second uh, Gengar now that we had the reverse one earlier on. And... Uh, it's more than enough that I will ever need. Uh, so yeah, I don't think there's ever going to be a deck where you play like three or four copies of this to, that just chill on the bench and you just let that do the work. Pretty nice uh, stadium card, the Devoured Field. And our first Psychic Memory as well. Yeah, we have no information on the Lucario GX as of yet. All speculation. Don't even know what type it is. It's just we know the product's been announced. Hype for Giovanni. Oh man, if like a Giovanni's conspiracy comes out, my goodness. Let's make it happen, guys. Now reverse Aaron. And <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of troll. We'd have to be navigating a huge... We'd be very much against the odds if we could avoid troll cards, but really, the first GX. The first GX. Ah. Uh, here we go. Ah. Uh, 
Very good. Very good. Very good indeed. That's what you've all been waiting for. The bloody executor. It's got psychic energy, you've got Lucimine, Kakuna, and a Selgul. So the best card in that pack was the Lucimine. Maybe even the Kakuna. My son sought one of those for a Sil Valley at pre release. That's incredible, Don Bro. He is gonna go far, that boy. It can only get better. Mm, don't know if even that's the case. Imforge rare full art. Okay. Mr. Reverse, Geodude, Pikachu, Skiddo, Starly, Reverse Gastrodon, and we have Beedrill. So even though we have an incredible attack on the Kakuna, the Beedrill is so unplayable that it doesn't matter. If this was like the old band attack Beedrill, for example, we could be looking at an interesting card, but uh, well, unfortunately not the case. Band attack Beedrill, one worlds, let's not forget. That was one of the, one of the really cool cards that got me into this game. Drill. Anyway. Swine up. Cacnea. Uh, Bunnelby. Shellos. Weedle. Reverse Jigglypuff. And we have another Hollow. Just a Milotic Hollow. And it's one of these rare cards that has an attack name that's literally just three letters. TCL. Very strange. I wonder why that was translated the way it was, or like why they decided to just call it, oh sorry, not TCL, TLC, uh, Tender Love and Care. I don't know why they just didn't have it all, like there's space, there's been longer attack names, so it's really bizarre that they just went for TLC. But yeah, I wonder, it's probably like a PR issue rather than anything else, not like a actual physical card design issue. It would have been a PR thing, I guess. The last three of the green code packs. We're going to be here all night. Oh boy, white code. Right, Mincino, Numel, Swinub. Swablu, Shelmet, Cacturn, and it's just another holo, go go. Man, we have got a bunch of just hollows here. Ran out of ink of the Pokemon Company. Brilliant. Rip Joe's money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So our next three cards need to be GXs, otherwise this box is absolute hotness. My goodness, okay. Zylus, Devoured Fields, and Haunter. I'll be witnessing the worst booster box of history. Best thing about the packs are the guaranteed codes. I think almost every pack we've had so far, the code has been the most valuable card within the pack. Mincino, Weedle, Cubone, Salandit, Feebas, Jangmao. And Oranguru. It's weird, on PTGO normally the newest packs always are like the bigger trade fodder that people are after, but from this set it may not even be the case. Uh, people may not even want these <laughs> these packs, so you may as well just open the Crimson Invasion stuff. It's fine. I collect. It's fine. I've made this decision. I'm happy with it. I would suggest that pretty much everyone just buy singles for this set. Because you only need to buy like six cards. But uh, I'm in the I'm in the filth right now and I'm showing you why you shouldn't buy this box. Uh Hydrogen, I thought this was actually a hollow. I think in Japanese this was a hollow. Interesting that this is just a regular rare now. Why is Hydrogen not hollow? Like, that should definitely be more worth a hollow than some of the other cards we have here. Like the Go-Go. Or the Regice. 
We have Dark Energy, uh, Devoured Field, Fighting Memory, and a Laron. You can build Executor with Wishful Baton. See Mr. Evis, Spoink, Houndour, Jigglypuff, Execute, Shellos Reverse, and an Altaria regular rare. Pretty cool. Dark Energy, Moo, uh, Mill Tank, not Moo Moo, uh, Sea of Nothingness, and Gastrodon. Hope he pulls Eggy. Oh man, I've already got Executor. Mad Captain, it's right here, man. It's right here. <laughs> Get Ross to make a deck from the box and then watch him forget to add tools. My goodness. <laughs> Houndour, Ghastly, Corfish, Aaron, Mankey, uh, Salazzle as a reverse rare. And another Altaria, back-to-back -back Altarias. Psychic Energy, Haunter, another Lusamine, and another Kakuna. Box of Nothingness. <laughs> BK Rapper, you're nailing it. Next three packs, the Alolan Executor playset. Disclaimer, I find Ross's videos entertaining. I think everyone finds his videos entertaining. That's his whole thing, right? That's why he has a lot of viewers. Alright, Magikarp, Stuffle, Execute, Jigglypuff, Chimeco, Rev, Execute. <laughs> oh, guys, no! <laughs> no! The betrayal! <laughs> oh, man. It's happening. Oh, I don't want to open the next two packs now. What is this? Oh, my God. Hmm. Yes. Very good. That is, that is excellent. That is, well, building a deck from these, from this box is going to be quite easy, right? My goodness. Rainbow eggs incoming, Asalgor, Kakuna, Gastroton. It's happening, oh no. I think I should just stop here. Should I open any more packs? Can I just get out now? My god. Let's check the code. Okay, okay. We have a bit of respite. <laughs> we... I'd love it if there's an executor still here, even in a bad code, just like <laughs> the ultimate troll. Rev Hydrogen's good. And another Hydrogen. Okay. So I have three of these Psychic Energy, Pillow Swine, Psychic Memory, and Dashing Pouch. Ross made a good video on the new penalties. I've not seen that, but I actually will watch that one because, I mean, you can't hype new penalties, can you? You just sort of have to lay out the law and talk about why these changes have happened. I think the rule changes are very good. It's a positive step for the game. Uh, Starly, Salandit, Shelmet, Jangmo, Staryu. Salandit Reverse, and another Starmie Rare. We have a Metal Energy, Mill Tank, Hakamoto, and Dashing Pouch. Am I streaming PTCA Joe games this weekend? I'll be streaming this evening, and also uh, tomorrow in the day, I think. I think I'm going out Saturday night, but I think in the day I should be able to stream some games, because I want to get as much testing in with Boswell and Sil Valley as possible before we do our top 10 decks for London. Uh, so yeah. Ross did talk about how you could cheat with new penalties. Fantastic. That's exactly what we want. Have we been sleeping on penalties? <laughs> Shellos, Bunnelby, Magikarp, Chimeco, Pikachu, we've got a reverse Spoink, and oh, it's still Troll. It's still Troll. Just when you thought it couldn't be more troll. Ah, oh, man. 
Yeah, it happened. The English always lose on penalties. <laughs> the guzz. We've been guzzed. Absolute. This box is absolute guzz. My goodness. Grass Energy. Oh, what's his name? Laron, Gladion, and Cincino. Rainbow Garbage. Yes, boys. Guzzlord ate all the good cards. How many left in the box? Uh, I'll finish this pack and then we'll see. We have a good code though, so maybe we can be redeemed. Dino, Carablast, Jangma O, Mankey, Remoraid, got the reverse Mammoth Swine. Oh yes. And oh my god! <laughs> my god! Oh man. It's time for another one star card. Actually, I think we gave this two star, but we should have given it one star. This is a really bad card. <laughs> uh, this is not going to redeem anything. This is uh, a tragic box, I think it's fair to say. Pretty tragic. Fishy garbage. Countercatcher. Haunter. And Sea of Nothingness. Sea of Nothingness being the best card in that pack. Someone built this box just for me. So it looks like we have seven packs remaining. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we've already hit our cap. But I think gold cards don't count. So I think there should be only one more hollow. Otherwise we would be above average in terms of actual hollow pulls. Um, unless they've changed it for some reason. But I don't know why they would do that. So even if we go above average on physical like hollow pulls, this is still a terrible box. What's non-garbage in this set? Silvalli and Boswell are the catch cards, really. Um, there's some good artwork cards in here. We just haven't got many of them. I actually high-rolled this box, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could just get seven rares in a row, and that would just be sad. There's a Crawdont. Uh, Mill Tank, Zwilus, Devoured Field. I mean, if... I mean, it could still just be a bunch of rares in the next seven. It's unlikely, though. Cincino is not the best card in this set. I can tell you that. I rolled on a one dice. Feebas, Carablast, Jangmao, Mankey, Remoraid, Dino, Rev, and the Houndoom Rare. That's a nice artwork card. I mean, really, I've resorted to only talking about artworks because it's all we can talk about in this set. My goodness. The best cards are around 5-ish. Secret Rare Counter Energy, that would be insane. We've already pulled a Secret Rare from this box though. Maybe in our next box it can be better. I mean, the bar is set so low that our next box will be better than this one. Reverse Mincino. And the Orangaroo. Lightning, Zwilus, Peter Swine, Peking. Red card. So, yeah, now it's only four packs, so maybe we still hit the 12 hollow average. But again, I think, from memory, I think uh, gold cards get around it. See, so here you go, we have another code. Okie dokie, let's see if we can make the magic happen. Final B, Houndour, Remoraid. I'm actually scared to, like, look at this card. Oh, it's just a rare, it's just a hollow, it's an Agron. Bum, bum, ba, bum. Yeah, not even a type null. Is Marwell actually usable? Not this Marwell. The other Marwell is also not usable, but this Marwell ain't that strong. It's like it's got like a setup attack, right? It's got like call for family from memory. Let me try and find it. Uh I can't even remember what this card does. Uh, maybe we'll pull one in a minute and I'll read it, but, um, 
Yeah, like Call for Family Attacks aren't great right now when you can just Lele Bridget. So, you shouldn't resort to using an attack. Even if you're playing like a counter energy deck, I think it would still be probably too slow. Rev Dashing Pouch, Ready Steel. This is the two Ready Steel are the best cards from our box. Uh, metal Energy, uh, sorry, Lightning Energy. Got the Gladian, got Counter. And a Sea of Nothingness. That's a good pack. We've got a good rare and three trainers as the on commons. That's actually like a really good. Uh, really good pack. Okay, two more to go. Let's zip through this quickly because it's probably not, not anything good. Got the Rev Devoured Field and a Mamoswine. Got the sea of Nothingness, bunch of those. Got a Mill Tank. So then I'll quickly rearrange the old area and we should be onto the next box pretty sharpish. So let's throw that over there. Corfish, Mincino, Weedle, Cubone, Salandit, got the Rev, Alone Raichu, and we have an Octillery Rare. There we go, that is 60, oh sorry, 36 packs. And we got some troll cards. We got the Rev, Guz, got the regular Gyarados, regular Executor, got the Full Art Egg as well, and we got the good old gold baton so overall obviously i'm not too pleased <laughs> with the pulls <laughs> they could have been better for sure uh but we'll just sort of get this out of the way for now and we'll move on to box number two because i need to pick me up after opening a bo booster box typically you feel good after opening a box just not today just not today okay let's get this lot out of the way as well I'll shove it in the box for now. And the codes as well. Let's get that out of the way. Okie dokie. Box number two. Let's see if it happens. We can... Uh, we can't do any worse than we just did, can we? Oh, have I lost my scissors? Oh, I think they're under the pile of packs that I've just opened. We'll go freehand. It's almost always bad value. I mean, I know that I'm wasting money by opening booster boxes always, <laughs> but I always like the feeling of opening packs. It's just the old... I don't know, it's just nostalgic, I find. Even opening new packs, I find nostalgic. But yeah, let's see what we can do with box number two. Let's get it going. Okay, let's... Okay, I'm gonna do this slightly differently. I want some more space for my stuff. And it's gone all blurry. Hopefully it will focus in a minute. We'll give it something to focus on. Come on, camera. You can work. Okay. How many executors can we pull? Will we get the egg placer is the question. Reverse Primeape and the Orangaroo Rare coming in hot. We have the Psychic Energy, the Kuna, Selgor, and Diggersby though. We'll put those there. You just got one Nihiligo GX from 36 online packs. That is awful. Okay. Looks like we got something here. We got Pumpkaboo, Swablu, Carablast, Skiddo, Chimeco, got the Rev, uh, Geodude, and we have another Gengar. So that's our third Gengar. Peeking around the, the wall. A little cheeky. Cheeky beggar. Uh... Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, grass energy, and we should start zooming through all this jank. I think we'll just head on, head on over to the rares now. Let's speed it up, folks. We have Pile of Swine and K 
check turn. I'll basically just, uh, if it's a good code, I'll go slowly through it. Otherwise, we'll just pull the stuff out and keep on chugging. Tapu Kokar Gengar Gengar deck incoming. I was already planning on profiling that. <laughs> but I didn't feel like I'd be doing it in real life. But it looks like I've got the stuff for it now. Sea of Nothingness, Octillery. Have a psychic memory. Pow. Another bad code, which means we can zoom through. We've got ourselves another Hydreigon, as well as a Rev Cincino. Oh, this is really annoying. I'm going to flip them around. I know you guys can't see them, but feel like you may not be able to see them as well, but it really doesn't matter when it's just energies and whatnot. Who actually cares? Uh, kapow. I'll keep this stuff the right way up, I guess. We have, ooh, good code. Let's do it. Let's run through. We have the Rev Alolan Marowak, which was something I said I wanted a lot in Hollow. That'd be something good to chase. And we have a Full Art Gyarados. It's a bad card, but it's something at the start I said I actually wanted because I think this artwork is insane. Gyarados, a big fan favorite card. And the Full Art is gorgeous. So I'm actually not too upset about this. That's a pretty cool card. This again, potentially degradable. Because Gyarados will sell. And if it won't sell, I'll keep it because it's amazing. <laughs> so there we go. And uh, we've got some other jank over here. Whoops, I should do it this way. I need to sort out the Stoofs, and we'll carry on going. Artwork hype. I am still a collector. Oh my goodness, back to back good codes. My senses are tingling. It's time for another executor, I can feel it in my bones. Oh, there it was. Maybe that's what the feeling was. Maybe it was the bait. Maybe it was the feels bait. Oh, nice. It's the Alolan Marowak Hollow. And it does look insanely cool. Hopefully I can catch some of it on the light. Get a nice close-up without knocking over my camera or making it all blurry. Oh, that's not going to work. Kapow. Still kind of not working. But yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a cool card. Uh, Design-wise, it's cool. It's just super below the power level that it needed to be. <laughs> Like, way, way below the power level it needed to be to be good. Ooh, dropping packs. More art hype. I mean, i got to stay positive about something, right? I'm a realist in terms of playability, but I can still enjoy cards for being cool. Oh boy, we got a good code. Let's do it. We have ourselves the Rev Type Null. That's actually a nice pull. That's really nice. This probably will be better than what the next card behind it will be. Let's find out. Oh my god, I baited myself. Oh, nice. That's actually like such a sick pack. That's such a sick pack. Nice. Sick box. That would even be good in pre-release because you can play your stuff. And you can even play the Gladion to pull it out of the prizes. It's all there. It's all there. That's like a theme pack. Got the Gladion, the Time Null, and the Sil Valley. That's insane. Okay, so I can actually use my first purple sleeve. Purple sleeves are where I put playable cards. I should have put a Reggie Steels in them, but I forgot. And, uh... I only ever play with half arts, so the Sylvani will go in a sleeve and uh, get himself graded more than likely. I have a huge stack of cards I need to get graded, but getting that type null is good. Ok, 
Okay, back to nothingness. Unless we get good revs. I guess there's always a chance in these packs to get good revs. Here we got a mill tank, for example. That's above average for reverses. Did we make value, guys? <laughs> no, we're nowhere near value. Ooh, good code. Let's see what we can do here. Geodude, Remoraid, Dino, Shellos. Got the Rev Bunnel B. And oh, another nice pack, man. This was another card that I said I really wanted to get. This box is, this is doing it for me, man. This is sweet. Got the Full Art Gladian. What's really cool about getting like a Gladian Full Art is that you'll only ever like, if you like playing with Full Arts, you only really need one Gladian. It's like Bridget, you only really need one, maybe two. And like teammates and stuff back in the day, it was rarely ever multiple copies. Um, unlike when you would pull like a Sycamore or an N or something, you're like, oh damn it, now I've got to go out and buy more. <laughs> but for a Gladian, that's pretty cool. This box is doing stuff. It's already better than our last box. Like, a lot better. Like, basically the Gyarados made it a better box than last box. <laughs> but yeah, we've got ourselves Camerupt and Staravia as a rev. We've got ourselves a Lusamine in there. We'd still love to pull some more type nulls. That would be a priority. I don't really mind not pulling Buzzwell because I'll probably get the boxes anyway for Zerkatries. So let's see. We've got a Go Go Reverse. Get ourselves another memory card. Got the Como O. At least they didn't make that hollow. Why is no why is no one giving love to Como O man? He's got such a cool design and he's got a big part to play in the games, but his cards have just been absolutely god awful. And dragons in general are just dead content in the TCG right now. Just completely dead content. Wiggly Tough and Orangaru is a rev. I mean I know there's a lot of dead content in the TCG, <laughs> but Dragons have been seriously shafted. Ooh, good code. Let's see what's in the store. Pumpkin Boo, Swab Blue, Carablast, Skiddo, Chimeco. Got the Rev, Geodude, and we have another Meme Lord. Oh yes. If only this was a pre-release. I think literally the only time you're happy to see this card is in a pre-release. Some people have tried to debate that it's more than that. Maybe it sits on the bench and has the XP share and gets big and isn't dealt with and all that good stuff. But let's be honest, it will be dealt with. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it won't do much. Ooh, another good code. Let's see if we can improve on the Guzzlord. Got the Reggie Gigas uh, reverse. And we have a Salazzle as a hollow. I think that does improve on the Guzzlord in all honesty. Like, I don't know, Verbank for Survipers. Let's do it. But no, definitely no. Guys, Lord Darkrai with that nice gold baton that I've got. Hell no. Nah. No, I don't think that'll uh, that'll be that good. Even with patch and elixir, I think Guzzlord Lord would be too slow. Like putting five energy to anything, like it needs to be Exodia to be worth it. The only reason you can see Guardies with 5 energy is because they can cheat. No. And Guardi only requires 1 energy. So it's free to stack, whereas you are forced to when you're a Guzzlord. So they are very different cases. 
So, half the box down, we have three GXs and a full art. Full art trainer card. Let's see what the second half can bring. Maybe a couple more GXs in here yet. That would be insane. So, there's the this Cavalier and the Minty note. I'm glad I opened this box second and not first, because otherwise we'd be ending on a sour note. But now we're ending on a high, and that's really good. So, Psychic Memory Reverse. Got ourselves some, another pack with three items as the Uncommons. That would suck if you're in a pre-release, but otherwise, pretty good. I don't know, actually, Counter Energy could be good in pre-releases. Probably is really good in pre-releases. Okay, let's see. Corfish, Weedle, Cubone, Salandit, Feebas, got the Rev, Comma O Rare, and we have another TLC, Milotic. Pretty bad card. But it may be a piece of history if it has, if it's the only Pokemon, it's the only Pokemon I can think of with just letters as an attack name. I don't know if probably a good trivia question if there are any others out there if anyone knows that would be pretty cool i know there's been some weird ones before maybe like a porygon or something random has an attack name that's just letters or just numbers as an attack name i don't think they'd ever do just numbers as an attack name because that's just like really dumb but uh it's weird enough having just letters so maybe it's a first and for how long this game has been going on, that's pretty crazy to have a first in Pokemon these days. We got ourselves a third Registeel, which is pretty much, I think, all you'll ever need. So I have pretty much my place at a Registeel, which is pretty cool. <laughs> you think the executor is still to come in this box? Well, we have a good code, so let's see if that will be true. Got the Rev Gorgeist and another Gogo. -Go. This freaking Gogo, -Go, man. <laughs> it's following me around. Sap Sipper. It's actually not a bad looking card in fairness. I just think it's quite a boringly designed Pokemon. It's just a goat, you know. With a bit of green on it. I mean, you could always disparage Pokemon a lot, like, but Gogo -Go seems like a particularly boring one. Even though you could ride around on him, so I guess he is a bit of an MVP at times. Was it Gogo -Go that you could ride on, or was it Skiddo? I can't even remember. Maybe it was both. Got ourselves another Miss Magus. Got ourselves a Rev Pikachu. Gorgeist OP. Let's not go there, team. Shelmet and Beedrill. Got ourselves Devoured Field. We need to hype the pack first. Oh, I don't know, man. I just want to get codes and get on PTCGO and start playing. The hype comes when you see the good code, right? That's when you're like, ooh, something's gonna happen. There's no point in me hyping bad codes. <clears throat> Unless there's like little surprises along the way. Oh my goodness, we have ourselves a white code. What could be in this booster packet of many, many cards? So many, so many possibilities. Let's see what we got. Corfish. Mincino. Magikarp. Got the Execute. Got Cubone. Oh, it's the reverse. It's a Houndour. Very strong. Very strong. And it's the Alone Raichu. And this is why I don't hype my booster packs. Cheers, Raichu. Yeah, I'm not going to hype any more packs. 
<laughs> and it's trash. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. I need more space. I've been really messy with this box. Everything's getting out of funk. Cheers, Raichu. Now I look silly for hyping you. Gonna open my online packs. Yeah, I don't know if I'll carry on the stream and do it. Uh, it would just be really slow for me to input them all for a while. Oh, we have another good code. Um, I've also ordered some extras, so I'm probably gonna open like, you know, like 200 codes. <gasps> Gold card. It's the warp energy. We got ourselves a warp energy in gold. My goodness. I'm going to throw this into my old school Gyarados deck, where Warp Energy actually did stuff. Incredible. Not the best. Could have been Counter Energy. But, that's still very strong. Dark Energy, Gastrodon, and all that stuff. Stream online packs? Yeah, so basically I'll input... I'll go off stream after these next few packs. Um... I'll sort all this stuff out. I'll put all the uh, put all the codes in, and then I'll come back on stream and open online. Should have hyped it. Almost called it. Yeah, man, you said the counter energy, right? Good stuff, chat. Good stuff. So, two, uh, two gold cards and two boxes is pretty cool. Anyone hype for BlizzCon? I can't wait to see the new set, man. Can't wait. At the moment, I'm doing a free-to-play run uh, on Hearthstone. So, I haven't, I haven't touched my main for a while. But I'm ready to see some new stuff and spend a bunch more money. Because when new stuff comes out, I'm always... That that month of ladder is just crazy. You see so many random decks. And I'm just there playing Zoo. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I've got a gold warlock now, so... I'll probably just be playing Rogue. Ooh, boy. Got ourselves... Another strong code. What could it be? What are the possibilities? Got ourselves a Rev Miss Magius. That's already a great start. And then we have <laughs> the Gengar playset. Oh, yeah. There it is. The Gengar playset. It happened, guys. IRL Gengar Coco deck analysis incoming. Boom. There he is. Gengar, my guy, what a beast, what a beast, Gengar counter energy, you know it makes sense, what's his ability called, Gnawing Curse, yeah, bit of a weird one, Cacnea Regirock, so the Gladion, the water energy. And it looks like we just have four packs remaining, guys. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're at twelve, and one of them is golden. So we should have one more good card in here. And we've only pulled three GXs so far, so hopefully. In one of these four packs, there's still a GX to be found. How's that for hype? Boom. Mathematically proving that there should be hype for these next few packs. Shellos and Starmie. <laughs> That's quick maths, James B. <laughs> oh boy, we have the white code. Please be a GX. 
plus one time plus let's go got the Mincino got the Weedle got the Cubone got the Salandit got the Feebas got the Rev Kakuna and I'm just gonna leave this right here just gonna drop that down there I'm gonna open two more packs and we'll come back to it just for uh, complete trolling Answers on a postcard, what you think this card will be. Oh my god, it's another white code! This has never happened before! Oh my goodness. Oh man, this has backfired so hard now. <laughs> this is this is betrayal. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Okay, we'll do a double reveal at the end. Okay. This is insane. Okay. Got the stuffle. Oh boy. So stuff will have to sit here now as well. So we're going double executor, double executor. This is where you get angry. <laughs> oh man, what's going on here? Okay, we can get this back out of the way. It's just an artillery and a hack, hack a mo. -oh. Man. Do I... What do we do here? What do we do here? We'll start with Kakuna, right? We'll start with Kakuna. I think that's the right thing to do. You can't out-troll the troll. Hey, Aaron. How's it going, man? Right. What are we thinking for Kakuna? I'm thinking... Executor. Uh, Nahaligo would be my second guess. Let's go for it. Boy, I squealed like an absolute... I don't know what that was. But yeah, I'm psychic. Just like this card. Got a half art Nihiligo. And that's really cool, because I actually probably need this card. So, that saved me like three pounds. Oh yeah. Get in the purple sleeve, boys. Hype. We did it. That squeak. <laughs> Okay, so then we have one more pack. Do we think this is still going to be G a GX? I think from the border it looks like it's probably going to be a GX, but I don't want to debate people right now. So, we could. S there's still chance for this to be an executor. There's still a chance. Hope we captured that squeal. Okay, let's see what's behind door number stuffle. It's going to be... Oh, nice card as well. Nice. This was a really good box. This is a really good box. That's pretty cool. Cartana. Um, this is actually probably better to pull than like Boswell's and Sil Valley's because you can only get Cartana from, you know, the boxes. So that's really good. That's a really good box. Uh, we nailed it, team. We nailed it. Nice or We did it. So, there we go. I put three cards in sleeves for this entire box. That's how good it was. Uh, uh, yeah. We can finish off with the dashing pouch as our last card of the box. So, let's uh, get the good cards out and see what the overall pulls were of two booster boxes. Let's get the Gengars together. They belong together. And let me just bring in the other stuffs. There's our other gold card. We've got some absolute junk. We've got another thingamajig. Got our Gengars going on over here. One was a reverse, so yeah. So, let's have a look at the wrap-up. There really aren't any good, um, any good hollows. Like, regular hollows, really, really low impact for all of them. Uh, we actually probably pulled... I mean, I mean, we didn't pull Type Nulls, right? So Type Nulls is like the good hollow that you could get. Out of all the other hollows, the Gengar's probably better than the other ones that we got. So having a high Gengar count is actually good RNG. <laughs> as bizarre as that is. Even though this is a hot mess of garbage. So, yeah. Hollows, really not good for a player. Um, unless there are other hollows that I'm missing out on. Uh, type Null, of course, being a good hollow to pull. I can't think of many other things that you could have got that we didn't get but let's uh, organize this in some sort of a manner so 
for the old Reveroonies, or sorry, for the regular GXs, we got Cartana right at the end, which is good. Um, yeah, good card. Uh, slice off is an insane ability. Another good ability in, what's it called, Empty Light. Pretty nice from the Nihiligo. We got ourselves the Tower Go Round GX Meme Lord to kick us off at the very beginning. We got a, a Gyarados GX. Got really bad attacks. It's got the Guzzlord, the pre released Lord himself. Then we got the Full Art Executor GX, which looks ridiculous, like actually just looks silly. Uh, we have the Gyarados, which looks amazing in fairness to Gyarados. Like, you can't credit it for being a good card, but you can say that this looks insane. Very nice artwork on this guy, at least. Gladian, again, I think this is a cool looking card. I could probably flog this onto someone who wants to play it. I actually think this card has big merits in some decks specifically. And if there are more decks that come out that are similar to the old Gyarados where you need to access your prizes, um, Gladian may sneak into those decks. So he could be getting better in the future. We got ourselves the Rainbows of Sil Valley and Guzzlord GX as well. So overall, not a terrible haul. Oh yeah, and then we've got the two gold cards. We've got the Wishful Baton and the Warp Energy. These are probably the two worst ones, I would say, that we could have got. Uh, but I think Warp Energy is fine. I don't mind that too much. This could eventually become a good card as well. So um, It's seen play before historically. I know it'll be harder when Floatstone and Guzma are both around. There's not much room for extra switching cards because everyone can move as much as they want to. But maybe down the line... That will change, and we'll see Warp Energy get some play. So, that is going to be it for my opening, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for sticking around and keeping me company. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to clean all this up. I'm going to input 72 codes, and then we'll be back on PTCGO later this evening. Maybe in a couple of hours, because I think I need to eat, and I need to uh, watch some anime as well. Uh, so, maybe... What time is it now? Uh, quarter to six. I think maybe around like 7.38 ish I'll be back on this evening to look uh, at PTCGO and uh, start opening stuff. So there we go. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys come back later on this evening if you're not up to much. And I'll be seeing you guys there. So cheers guys. See you soon.